You may want to double check the name on your Texas driver's license. That may sound simple, but names are causing confusion at the polls. About half of early voters here in Travis County are having to go through an extra step just to vote. That's because of the new voter ID law. The name on their ID does not exactly match the name on the voter rolls. It could be a name change, a maiden name, or even a middle name that's the issue. KXA's Kevin Schwaller shows us what you can expect when you go to vote. Mary O'Grady is changing the way she normally votes by bringing along a photo ID. It's one of the things required under the new voter ID law in Texas. I just really would rather show my voter registration card. Still, O'Grady had a smoother process than some. Her ID matched the name on voter rolls. O'Grady realizes, especially for women, that's not always the case. Their surnames will end up not matching between their voter registration and their picture ID. You take out your banana yellow voter registration card and compare it to your driver's license. We asked Travis County Clerk. Dana DeBavois about the situation. Would that be a case where a woman would have to fill out a provisional ballot if she doesn't have everything ready to go on November 5th? It's a possibility, yes. Voters who fill it out one of those any. have six days after the election to correct the information. About half of our voters have some kind of a mismatch, and it's okay um, as long as it's similar, you still get to vote. So most times, DeBavois says people's names are similar enough. All voters need to do? Put your initials here. Is initial an affidavit, and they're good to vote. Well, I think the first reaction is a little bit of shock and a little bit of, oh my gosh, does this mean I can't vote? And election officials say the answer is no. It will not stop you from voting, although it may require some initials and at the worst, some extra work. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN News. If you still need to update your voter ID, the DPS is keeping their driver's license centers open on Saturdays through the next two weekends. By the way, we wanted to know how often voters have had to cast a provisional ballot. In early voting so far, only three voters have needed to cast a provisional ballot in Travis County. That's compared to the nearly 7,800 that have voted so far. Early voting ends on November 1st. Looking more at the big picture now, how long you'll be required to show an ID at the polls? Well, that could depend on the courts. The Federal Justice Department, the NAACP, and the Mexican-American Legislative Caucus have all filed to join a lawsuit against the new state law. They believe it creates a barrier to voting for poor minorities and people who live in rural areas. And there's a similar battle over North Carolina's new voter ID law. Both states went ahead with laws after the U.S. Supreme Court struck down part of the Voting Rights Act in June. Places with a history of racial discrimination no longer need to get pre-clearance from the federal government, as the court deemed that part of the law now unconstitutional.